you know, Disney as a whole to me is a, it's always been a part of me and my family's lives. I mean, there's always been a connection and I've always liked Disney, no matter, you know, what people say about it. I mean, I know there have been some time, some things that Disney has done that some people may not agree on. You know, my mom has even come out and said that she feels at times Disney has gotten just a little too weird in some areas. And I think the reason she says that, and I'm sure anybody else that would probably say the same thing, is is because, you know, they look at movies like the Pirates of the Caribbean series, John Carter, uh, and a few others that are now into that PG, that when they're released, they're released under not just the Disney banner or directly by Disney, but they're released with a PG-13 rating. And, you know... Not many people are used to seeing PG-13 for a Disney film. Um, but to me, it's always been a huge part of my family's life. And again, I've always been a fan of Disney, myself. I mean, I've always liked Mickey, I've always liked Minnie and Donald and Daisy and Goofy and, and Max and Roxanne, if you will, and, and many of them, Clarabelle, Horse Horse Color, you know, I've always liked Disney, always have. Um, I, I remember every morning as a kid waking up and watching Disney Channel and watching shows like Dumble Circus, uh, around you know, Welcome to Pooh Corner, uh, Mouse Size, um, Donald's Quack Attack, uh, you know shows like that, Mouse to Peace Theater. You know I just remember all of that, and. I always remember it was such a big deal sometimes on Disney Channel, if not uh, networks that were associated with Disney, like let's say uh, ABC is mostly now. I always remember Disney Channel, the networks associated with them, would always air the Christmas specials, like Christmas Carol, uh, Winnie the Pooh Christmas. Uh, I remember sometimes Magical World of Disney, whether it was network, whether it was being shown on a network or on Disney Channel itself would always come out maybe a month or two before and say, this feature, this animated feature film is coming to Disney Channel or coming to the Magic World of Disney. And it would be like for the first time ever. And that was always, to me, a big deal because I remember sometimes when that would happen, my family would gather together just to see that. Um, just to see that when it came out. You know, and dis and again, Disney has provided a lot of memories for me as a kid. I mean, I remember watching Gummy Bears and Muzzles on Saturday mornings, Raw Tuna to Masupalami in the early '90s. Um, I remember when the Gummy Bears being on ABC. I remember when Rescue Rangers and Ducktales came out. I remember when the Disney Afternoon came out. I thought honestly, I couldn't remember right, but I think Disney, if just my honest opinion, think they did this twice: Labor Day and New Year's Day. They aired a marathon of Disney afternoon shows. So that was a huge, huge thing for me as a kid. And then I remember, honestly, Disney, you know, releasing great animated feature films like Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. And my sisters, my older sister, always coming back and saying, this is a great film, you know, it's so great and all that. It was just, again, you know, just all the memories I had. And then... You know, as far as the Disney Afternoon went, you know, to find out that you had DuckTales the movie in theaters, which I saw, which was, you know, basically to me was a starting point from what I understand of Disney Afternoon shows getting that treatment. The only other shows that did get a similar treatment, well, kind of came in between, far and in between, if you will. Like, Goof Troop got the treatment under the Goofy movie name, Recess got it, Teacher's Pet got it. It was just, it's just unbelievable memories you know for me as a kid and as a young adult you know and the one thing that I've always wanted to do but I never got to do until this past summer until this past June was go to Disneyland and finally finally after I God, what is it 20 I guess 25 years 23 years or something like 20 plus years I finally achieved that goal. Finally achieve it. I finally go to Disneyland and enjoy myself. It was a great, great time. Now I admit, I did get a little crab crabby towards the last day or so because 
I was like, you know, I didn't want to go on the river, that uh, jungle river thing again. So, but I enjoyed it. You know, it was really, it was really fun. And, you know, got to spend time with my sisters and their family. My mom, of course, she couldn't go because she had to remain because she still was in school. She was still working that time. So, but it was just, again, just a great time for me to find, great time. And I was just so happy to finally be able to say, finally, just finally be able to say that I went and enjoyed myself. It was just tremendous. Just really, really tremendous. And, you know, just to, not just to go to Disneyland, but for the first time, not just to go to Disneyland for the first time, but along with my sisters, along with them, to all go for the first time into California Adventure was huge. It was really huge. So, uh, but yeah, just a lot of great memories of Disney. And my thoughts on them is, Despite how people feel about what they do, like if they purchase Lucasfilms or Marvel or whatever, they always know what people want in the end. The people that take over Disney always seem to know what the fans, what the people that help make Disney what it is, would understand what they want. So uh, that those basically my thoughts as a whole is Disney's just a great, a great you know great thing for for everybody to enjoy.